Just a quick video on how to install that little clip to the Bendix clip. So we'll just call it a clip clip. So once you get the side cover off, you'll have your starter mechanism exposed. So sometimes when the cover comes off, all this falls out, but it's no big deal. All we got to do is uh, just get it out of there either way it goes. So not much to it. You just got the washer for the back and then you have the shaft through the middle and then the gear that goes to the starter and then the Bendix gear and the spring and uh, the gear the Bendix gear rides on. So what we want to do is take all that apart and then we got to get this clip off here. So just take a screwdriver or something, slip it in there and just give it a little tug and it'll pop off there. Boing. So there we go. So now we got that. So all we got to do is install our little clip clip onto it and uh, get it set up. So we'll switch over here to the vise and uh, put the little clip on there. And so what you got to do, the easiest way I've found is to start with the copper side. And so you want to just get it started on there and then just take a hammer and kind of tap it in a little bit. Make sure it's started and on there pretty good. And then uh, I just take a vise and put it on the edge of the vise and grab a hold to the ends and then just crank it in little by little and then bump over that edge. So once you get it over the bump there, it ought to be loose onto the uh, clip. And so now we just got to figure out where the alignment is so it doesn't uh, touch onto the uh, side of the motor or onto the gear. So let's set back up over here on the motor and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we are back over on the motor. So when we install this, this is gonna go in that groove. So what we gotta do is make sure that we have it far enough this way that it doesn't drag on the side of the case, but far enough this way that it doesn't drag on the gear. So what we gotta do is get that back on that gear so we'll switch back over to the vise and do the reinstall. So what I want to do is just kind of measure. I can always move it around a little bit. So it looks like somewhere about right in the middle. And so when we install it, we'll line that up and then we'll put it all back together. All right, so now all we got to do is get our clip clip put onto our gear. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is slip that in and push that all the way over as far as I can get it. And then I just want to pinch my gear in the vise. So let's get something in there. And we're going to grab the side to the gear with the clip already grabbed underneath it. And then we just take a screwdriver and hook up on top and pop it back up. So now we got our clip in stock. And you can see. In the video, there's not a whole lot of room. What you don't want to have is the clip touching the gear. So we got to move it away just a little bit. And we got to make sure it clears the case so it can slide in and out. So where I got it right there is a little bit low. So all I'm going to do is just take a screwdriver and just move up on it a little bit. I'm just going to scoot it away from the gear just a little bit so it doesn't rub the top of the gear like that all right so now we just go back over to the motor and we'll do our reassembly installing the mechanism if you hadn't ever done it seems like it's a bit complicated but if you do it in a certain sequence it's not too bad so you start with your little bumper washer that goes in the back just go ahead and put that on the shaft take this gear put it on the shaft bring them back up behind the flywheel and put those on Okay, so then next is the Bendix gear. He goes on and he'll be loose. So here's our little clip. So it'll slide on and just put it so that the clip tang is in there. And then we're gonna check things once we put it all together. Next is the spring and the internal. So this is really the only hard part fidgeting around is trying to get those to line up, get the teeth to index but you can get it after playing for a second. So 
So those are indexed. And then now you just have to slide it on the back. So there you go, pretty simple. So we got everything together. Now what we want to check is make sure that number one, that's not touching the gear. And then number two, it's not touching the case. So as we slide out, you can check that and just make sure that it's clearing the case and it's also clearing the gear. And if you need to, you can push it all back in there. And if it needs to go one way or the other, you can just push it a little bit and it'll move. So we got her lined up. And then that should give us a little more resistance on this. I'll take it back apart. Just pull that back out. That should give us a little more resistance on this and prevent that from spinning as bad because now it's got some resistance against it with that clip clipped. Well, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.